I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponential equations. We'll take up exam practice with four examples on exponential functions. The question here is, solve the following equations, give answers in exact form. So calculator is not allowed. You need to provide answers in exact form. The four questions are, e to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 10 e to the power of 4x minus 3 e to the power of 2x plus 2 equals to 0. 3 to the power of x times e to the power of 4x plus 1 equals to 1. 5 to the power of x times e to the power of 4x equals to e cubed. You can always pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with the solution of the very first question. Question number one here is e to the power of 2x plus 1, let me rewrite, e to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 10. We can take logarithms on both sides. So we'll take natural log on both sides, which is written as log to the base e of x or ln right so that is to the base e so we'll write ln e to the power of 2x plus 1 equals to ln 10 now ln and e is 1 ln e since they are inverse functions correct so ln e is 1 so we can get this as 2 to the power of x plus 1 as equal to ln 10 and from here, we can isolate x, correct? So we get this as ln 10. So we have 2x equals to ln 10 minus 1, or x is equal to ln 10 minus 1 over 2, correct? So we have our solution here, which is x is equal to ln 10, which is a constant, minus 1, another constant, divide by 2. Perfect. So that is how we are going to answer the very first question. Now let's take the second question, which is e to the power of 4x minus 3 times e to the power of 2x plus 2 equals to 0. Now that is quadratic form. We can substitute, let's say, t as equal to e to the power of 2x. In that case, we could write this as t squared minus 3t plus 2 equal to 0. This can be factored. 2 times 1 is 2, and both negative will give us 3, right? So t minus 2 times t minus 1 equals to 0. So that gives us two solutions, t equals to 2 and t equals to 1. Now what is t? t is e to the power of 2x. That could be 2, and e to the power of 2x could be equal to 1. So we need to get the solution from these equations, right? So substitute back t and then solve. So let's solve for e to the power of 2x equal to 2, taking log both sides. So the strategy here is you need to take ln, natural log, both sides. So when you write ln, e to the power of 2x equals to ln 2. So that gives us 2x is equal to ln2 or x is equal to ln2 over 2. So that is one solution. The other solution will be e to the power of 2x equal to 1. Now anything to the power of 0 is 1, right? So you could always write this as e to the power of 2x equals to e to the power of 0. That means 2x equals to 0 or x is equal to 0, correct? So we have two solutions here. We can write down our answers. The answers are x equals to ln 2 over 2 or x equals to 0. Now let's take up the next question, which is 3 to the power of x times e to the power of 4x plus 1 equals to 1. Now in this case, what are you going to do? Let's take natural log once again. So let's take natural log. It will be ln 3 to the power of x times 
e to the power of 4x plus 1 equals to ln 1. Now, we'll apply the rules, which is the product could be written as sum. So we get ln 3 to the power of x plus ln e to the power of 4x plus 1 equals to ln 1, which is 0. Correct? Now, this can be written as x ln 3, and that is ln e is 1, so it is 4x plus 1 equals to 0. Now, we can factor out x to get ln 3 plus 4 equal to taking 1 to the right side minus 1, and we can now isolate x, correct? So, let's isolate x and write down our answer. So we get x as equal to minus 1 over ln 3 plus 4. Perfect. So that is how we are going to write down the answer for this particular question. That leads to the last question for us, which is 5 to the power of x times e to the power of 4x equals to e cube. Now we can divide by e cube. So we get or you can also take uh, ln both sides. Either way you could do actually. So let's take log, natural log both sides. So we get ln 5 to the power of x times e to the power of 4x equal to ln e cube. Now that gives us ln 5 to the power of x plus, that's the rule, ln e to the power of 4x equals to 3 times, you can write ln e, and next step you'll write 3, right? So here we get x ln 5 plus that gives us 4x equals to 3. So we can now solve this equation just as we did the last equation, similar fashion, taking x terms together. So we can take uh, x common, that gives us ln 5 plus 4 equals to 3 or x is equal to 3 over ln 5 plus 4. So that is again the exact value. And that is how we are going to answer this question. So I hope that helps you to understand how to solve questions with exponential equations with e. So the idea here is take natural log ln on both sides. So that could be one of the important rules. And then we have to apply rules of logarithms. To simplify. And then you have to isolate x. Correct? So these could be the steps to follow in case you want to solve any natural, any equation involving exponential fu function with e. Perfect. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.